a flash of light, the squeal of tires. <laughs> the sound of a deadly collision followed hours later by the sound of grief <laughs> and prayers. <laughs> it was around 11 o'clock Saturday night that a group of friends were coming home from a baby shower in Moreno Valley. That's part of the cake. Yeah. Flew out of the car. Because, yeah. Polino Alvarez and his wife Elizabeth were at the baby shower. They left early. Elizabeth's sister, Lorena Morales, left later with four others in her Toyota Corolla. And um, they call us that she has an accident. And then we were rushed to the hospital. And there's nothing they can do. Elizabeth says her sister Lorena was behind the wheel of the Toyota when, according to police, she was struck by 36-year-old Victor Saharath of Pomona in that SUV. He was arrested for felony DUI. Well, this guy ran the red light and slammed into them and just killed them three at the same time. Lorena Morales died. Her boyfriend, Juan Manuel Jaime Garcia, was injured and taken to a local hospital, as was a younger girl in the car related to a family member. Alejandra Elias died. As Senya Ochoa, she was killed too. You were about to be adopted by her? Yes. Can you explain that to me? Um, well, I had recently been jumping house to house. Um, Foster child? Yes, and she, and she's my tia. But um, she wanted me to stop jumping houses, so she took me in. 11 year old Brian Gonzalez says the plan was to adopt him. We were about to finish the adoption process. And though beyond tragic, Brian says. I feel like her time was way too short, although I do know that she died peacefully and that she died loving me. I spoke with a number of members of Yesenia's family, and they say they plan to do everything they possibly can to adopt Brian. In Pomona, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.